Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at some new Anchor products. These here are the Power Expand. We have two different variations, one being a 8-in-1 10 gigabyte data hub, and then the other being 11-in-1 USB-C PD hub. And together we'll be seeing exactly what is the difference and in terms of which one is better for you. Now, this episode here is sponsored by Anchor, so if you guys wanted to check them out, be sure to check out their link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we have these two different boxes here. Uh, so both of them are very similar in terms of design, but however, the 11 one is obviously a little bit bigger because it houses 11 different devices, while the Anchor 8 and one houses eight devices. Now the main difference between the two is obviously the speed. One houses at 10 gigabytes of data transfer, while the other one's at five. So depending on what you're using it for, it might be better off going with one over the other. All right, so for starters, both of them have very similar packaging. One is obviously a little bit bigger, and then the wire itself is a more of a texture feel, which might be more durable compared to the rubber compounded. Here is our 11-in-1, very nice looking, very high quality feel, great kind of material. Uh, and then does come with a case. So it's almost like a suede-like material with the Anchor logo on there. Uh, and then we have our 8-in-1, uh, which is slightly smaller than the 11-in-1. Uh, However, this one here has a 10 gigabyte data transfer. So you can go ahead and transfer a good amount of data very, very fast, especially if you're using it for bigger videos. Um, so this here is the case for that. In terms of the quality goes, uh, they both have a nice solid structure. Uh, the 8-in-1 has more of a curved or round edge, while the 11-in-1 has more of a straight edge. Now, this one here has more of a texture feel. Uh, and of course, with the interesting looking cable, it's got like a fabric kind of material versus this one is just more of a rubber material. Now, they both go via USB-C. First off, we'll look at the 8-in-1. Now, the 8-in-1 features a USB-C connector. So this connect to the PC. Uh, and then it's got a PD import. So connect a USB-C PD charger to charge your device. Then it has a USB-C device to support data transfers at speeds of 10 gigabytes. Then you have your HDMI port allowing to go stream videos at resolution of 4K at 60 hertz. Um, and then you have your ethernet port so you can go ahead and run it to a modem or a router up to 1000 megabytes. SD card slot. And then you have a micro SD card slot right just above it. And then lastly, you get a two USB-A ports uh, these will allow you to transfer devices up to 10 gigabytes. So that is kind of nice. You can transfer it via both USB-A as well as the USB-C up to 10 gigabytes. So that is the advantage of this particular 8-in-1. Now, compared to the 11-in-1, you get more ports and then you get more of a higher quality feel. Kind of going our way around it. So you have yourselves the USB-C connector, USB 2.0, USB A port, which you can and transfer speeds up to 480 megabytes. Um, and then you have your USB 3.0, which is a USB A port and transfer data up to five gigabytes. USB C port, transfer data up to five gigabytes. And you have your ethernet port, uh, connect to a router up to a thousand megabytes. Uh, and then you have an audio port as well. So this is different compared to the eight in one. So connect your earphones or other devices with a 3.5 millimeter connector. Uh, and then you have a PD in port. So the PD in port allows you to connect a PD charger to charge your laptop or tablet up to a 100 watt input. A SD 3.0 card slot line copy files as well as a micro SD card. So this here is a display port stream up to 4K at 60 hertz and then an HDMI port line also stream up to 4K at 60 hertz. So, you know, the, between the difference of between the two, it's kind of up to you on what you want to use it for. Now, obviously, if you're using it more for data transfer, like for instance, if you have larger files for like videos uh, or like just audio files, then you would want to go ahead and go with something like this. The 8-in-1 is definitely great in terms of transferring speed up to 10 gigabytes versus the 11-in-1, which will transfer up to five gigabytes. Now, the 11-in-1 does have the nifty feature of you have the two different um, HD ports allowing you to go ahead and use a DP port and HDMI port to go ahead and stream videos. Uh, and then you also have a variety of different USB-A ports. So you can go ahead and still transfer up to five gigabytes, which is nice, but obviously it's not 10 gigabytes. So it just depends on what you're using it for that particular purpose. Now, this here's more for, I would say like gaming or streaming, just because it also has the audio port. So you can go ahead and listen to music. And then you also have the different streaming ports. So that is nice too. So yeah, two different things, two different setups, 
really based on what you want to do with it and overall really cool and definitely a very useful tool in terms of both editing as well as playing games. And yeah, there you guys have it. Now, if you guys had any questions about the two, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.